It's a dark time in Australian sports for the players and their fans. So if you're looking for a sportsman to throw your support behind, two words, Paddy Mills. The Indigenous basketballer comes from heroic stock. His mother was snatched by the government as part of the stolen generation, but dedicated her life to improving the lives of Aboriginals like her. Taking inspiration from his family to the court, Paddy, at just 16, took up an Australian Institute of Sports scholarship. At 19, he represented Australia at his first Olympic Games. And the year after that, he was drafted to his first NBA team. At just six feet tall in a sport of giants, Paddy has travelled the globe and last year signed on with his second NBA team, the San Antonio Spurs, who played off in the finals. Although he's already accomplished so much in just 25 years, the feeling is there's a whole lot more of Paddy Mills we're yet to see. Please welcome Paddy Mills! No doubt, no doubt you're a superstar in the NBA, which is brilliant, but um, people may not know this, but you're relatively short for an NBA player, aren't you? You're six foot tall. Yeah, mate. And how um, does that feel in, in the land of giants? Well, I can't even reach the trough in the locker room toilet. To be <laughs> No, it's all right. I'll find my way to get around. But NBL in Australia is probably a little bit more low-key and low-profile than the NBA. I mean, what is it like? Give us a glimpse of the behind the scenes. I imagine it's just like being a rock star over there. Yeah, definitely. Look, um, I'm rubbing shoulders with Tim Duncan and Tony Parker, Manu Ginobili, all all-stars, you know, future yeah. NBA Hall of Famers. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, they take all the limelight, which is fine, and, and I'm happy just to learn from them as we go on, yeah. Now, you play so, you play so many games. Do you, like, you get off the court and you like jump on a jet and fly to another city and you play the next night and it just rolls on like that. You're like the Rolling Stones, yeah? That's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Rolling Spurs. Now look, we um, 82 games in a season, you know, it, it's fairly hectic. We have 41 of those games uh, on the road. So, you know, we play about four to five games a, a week sometimes. So but you've got your own jet hectic. though, don't you? You've got your team jet? Yeah, team jet. Yeah, where yeah. are you? Where's your row? Are you at the front or the back? <laughs> <laughs> I'm at the back, mate. Big, big dog's at the back. <laughs> Um, speaking of big dogs, in, in the finals, you, you obviously you shared a court with LeBron James, who's, who's <laughs> one of the most talked about basketballers ever. Some say he's the best of all time. Clearly, that was Michael Jordan. But uh, <laughs> what was it? What was it like playing, you know, and sharing that space? Yeah, obviously, to make the NBA finals, first of all, uh, you know, as an Australian, it was big, and, and trying to wave the flags as, as much as I could. But um, yeah, I decided to take a charge on LeBron James there at one stage and felt every one of those 200 kilos or whatever it was uh, as I ran into a brick wall. But um, no, nah, look, he's a, he's a great player and, and will be for, for, you know, in the future. Uh, Paddy, what's this? You're famous for it. Why am I doing it? <laughs> well, what you're doing there is known as the three goggles. Uh -huh. um, that was invented in Portland and you know, you can see a little bit better now that you got them on, right? Better. Yeah, yeah. You can see the hoop a little bit better. The hoop, you know, yeah. decides to get I can a bit see bigger. It from here. So but, it's, um, it's for a three pointer, yeah. You, put, you do that and you can get a three pointer. For a, for a three pointer, yeah. If so one David Everidge would have shot some three pointers. <laughs> Gimmicks aside, I mean, it's great. You're also committing as well to the Boomers. You Australian basketball, you've got World Cup in Brazil coming up. Then, of course, you've also got the Olympic Games coming up. You're finally going to give the Boomers a chance to win a medal. The girls have been doing it for the last five Olympics. What about the boys? Yeah, definitely. Look, uh, she's being sexist. We right now. Are. <laughs> No, look, the girls have definitely done a great job over the years. So, uh, you know, we know what's, what's at stake and we really got to step up and, and try and get a medal. The guys know that, um, you know, it's time for, for the boomers yeah. to, to win a medal and we all understand that. And you've so. got a girlfriend, so you will be focused in Brazil, that's fair to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she'll be keeping me in check, mate. 2016's a long way away. <laughs> oh, oh, me, oh, oh, the sister's sticking together there. <laughs> Thank you for joining us because I know that you're going to head back for a training camp with the Spurs. The season starts in October, so we wish you the very best of luck and we'll keep following you. Well awesome. Thank you.